the next question on the slip from Brother Muhammad Hussain Asadi. At the time of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he was alone, the Kafir's anti-propaganda turned in favor of Islam. Don't you think this time also it will be the same? The question posed is that at the time of the Prophet, many people who did propaganda against Islam, they turned in favor of Islam. And that is what we should always want. I remember the second last time I was in UK, I gave a talk on terrorism and jihad. And similarly, the question of Osama bin Laden was there. And I said that the reply which I gave here, that the main person to blame is George Bush as a terrorist. There was a youngster who got up from the audience and said, death to George Bush. And people clapped. Now, I as a Dai, I'm trying to convince non-Muslims of UK with Hikmah. And a youngster gets up from the audience and says, death to George Bush. And believe me, all my effect gone down in vain. I'm a Dai. Everyone clapped. I got up and I told our beloved prophet, there were two Umars who were very strongly against Islam. And a prophet prayed to Allah, at least give Hidayah to one Umar. And Umar bin Khattab, he accepted Islam. So we should pray to Allah that give Hidayah to George Bush. <laughs> Why should we want death to George Bush? If he's a strong enemy of Islam, if Allah gives him Hidayah, he will fight in favor of Islam. So we should pray that Ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give Hidayah to George Bush, give guidance. And when I make this statement, no media can blame me. What I've said is wrong. So we should answer with Hikmah and we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we should give Hidayah to such people. Ameen. That's winning over rather than defeating the spirit of Islam.